Well, Morris is really unique in that we have the opportunity to try a lot of different types of energy. So this is the gasifier. It's a process where instead of bringing material together with a whole bunch of oxygen and burning it really quickly, we limit the amount of oxygen. This cleans up the emissions and cleans up the burning process. And so we are uh, working with what we have in our community and we have a lot of biomass. We are in the, the windier part of the state, so we have a lot of wind and we also get a lot of sunlight. And so these are the things that our community has and we feel would be good as community energy projects. There's a lot of potential for wind in southern and western Minnesota. How anhydrous ammonia is made right now is basically cracking natural gas to capture the hydrogen and using the hydrogen combining with the nitrogen from the air. Well, what we're doing is we're taking the natural gas out of the equation. We're just making hydrogen from wind and water. Combine the hydrogen and nitrogen over high temperature and pressure and making hydrous ammonia, which is synthetic fertilizer. Basically add value to the wind. The kind of research we're doing is applied research. So we're, we're taking this stuff, we put them in, we're basically kicking the tires and, and uh, doing the test drive. How much energy does a system like this produce? How big a system would you need if you were going to do it in your house? What are the installation issues? You know, some of these kind of questions are the things that we want to answer and really to help local businesses, farmers, individuals even, uh, make those decisions and, and choose to put these systems on their own on their own homes. And that's really the goal here is looking at community energy. What what the people in a particular region have available to them. And as we get back to a point where we need to look towards other energy sources, some of these community facilities might have more merit.